Hi, do you have trouble taking your practice game to competition and underperform in competition compared to what you show in your practice on a daily basis? I'm Dr. Patrick Cohn with Peak Performance Sports at peaksports.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about exactly why athletes perform better in practice than they do in competition. You're watching Sessions with Doc, unrehearsed and unscripted answers to your mental game questions. Here's the question I received from Lonnie. He said, I'm a bit curious about what's holding me back from performing as well as I do during training compared to competition. My coaches work with me and I have come to the conclusion that it's mental because physically I'm in good shape for the sport and I have the skills and the ability to be great. I think it's about fear of letting others down. What do you think, Dr. Cohn? Well, Lonnie, this is a very common question that we get from athletes. As a matter of fact, this is the number one sign that athletes are in need of mental game coaching. When you look like a star in practice, you have all the skills, you have the fitness, you have the strategy, and you perform very well on a day-to-day -day basis in scrimmage or in practice rounds during your practice, but then you go to competition and you underperform greatly. It's like a golfer that will shoot maybe 68 in a practice round and then goes and shoots 78 in competition. Well, that's a big sign that your mental game is getting in the way. And as a matter of fact, that's the number one reason why athletes, coaches, and parents contact us at peaksports.com because they see that underperformance. Why does my athlete look like a star and then in practice, but then in competition tends to underperform? Well, I'm going to tell you why right now. The number one reason that we find it's because of fear of failure. And what you mentioned, Lonnie, about fear of letting others down is directly related to that fear of failure. So first of all, what are the signs? The signs are when you go to competition, if you have that choking feeling, if you feel like you're choking in competition, if you feel like you're tense, you're nervous, you can't let it go, you're performing tentatively, you're performing scared, you're afraid to make mistakes, those are the top signs you're going to notice if the mental game is getting in the way when you go to compete. And very often, like I said earlier, it's about fear of failure. Let me talk about that for a moment because that's a big concept in our work in mental coaching and sports psychology. Fear of failure is really a broad umbrella that says when you go to competition, you have some underlying mental block, you have some underlying mental fear that's getting in the way of you being able to perform your best. And typically what we find is it's related to social approval. You mentioned you don't want to disappoint others, you don't want to let others down, and that's most common uh, characteristic of what we see underlying the fear of failure. There's really two types of fear of failure. One is what I call putting in all the work and all the effort and not getting the payoff. There's a fear of not getting the payoff. And that could be, mean many things. That could mean advancing to the college level, advancing to the professional level, really anything. Um, the other type of fear of failure, which is much more common, is based upon what I find is social approval. Now, once again, that's another big buzz term, but social approval basically means that you worry too much about what others think. And there's two sides to that coin. Either you don't want to disappoint others like a parent, a coach, or teammates, or you badly want the respect of other people in your life, like friends or coaches or teammates. And once again, you want to make your parents proud. And, and because of that, worrying about what others think, what happens is you tend to go out and play very scared, very tentative, and very safe and therefore you can't trust in your abilities and it looks very controlled or it looks like you're trying to avoid mistakes like um, a basketball player or a lacrosse player instead of having an opportunity to shoot that player will essentially pass the ball instead of shooting. 
Hey, thanks a lot for the question. If you have your own question, go to peaksports.com and click on contact us. I can't promise that we'll include it in a video or a podcast, but we certainly will read and respond to all your questions. Thanks for joining Sessions with Doc. Please check out the buttons on this side and subscribe to our videos so you can be notified when more mental game tips become available. Uh, in addition, we've also suggested the next video for you to watch on this page. Thanks and good luck.